So today's gonna be a little bit of an update and just some other random things I'm gonna talk about, mainly my follow along videos that I record. So the first things first, I didn't record a video this weekend and I'm probably not gonna record another one next weekend due to the rain. So it rained uh, on Saturday, which is when I usually record them. And then the forecast is showing rain on Friday and Saturday. So I'm probably not gonna make another one then either. Uh, so usually when I'm not able to you know, record a follow along or like on Sundays when we do my family workouts, I weren't able to do that either. I'll still work out on my own. What I generally do is I well, actually do one of my own follow along videos. Usually I do either two or three of them back to back as my workout. And that's what I did this past weekend, both for Saturday and Sunday. I, did my I like to see why some of them have a lot more views than others. Some of the, 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 the titles I could tell get more views because it says glutes in them. So most of the ones that say glutes have higher um, views. Uh, the ones with kettlebells seem to do very well, which is interesting to me because <laughs> I'm no expert in kettlebells, but I guess people really like kettlebell workouts. And then some of the functional ones uh, have pretty, well, the dumbbell functional ones have the higher views as well versus like resistance bands or body weight, although there is a couple of body weight ones that do have a lot. And but anyways, long story short, I don't really see a consistency too much other than the ones I mentioned, but even those aren't, all of those aren't all high view um, views of, on my YouTube. So it's interesting to know what kind of videos people want to watch or the ones that people want to follow along with. Um, but uh, in doing my own follow along, it's interesting that I have my own critiques of my own follow alongs. And some of the things that I know I could improve on, it's just hard to do because rec uh, recording and editing takes so much time that it's like adding anything else to make it better is just going to add more time that I already take to um, edit the videos but there is one thing that I know I should probably do going forward that shouldn't take too much time added on to my uh, editing time and that's putting a preview of all the workouts that you're going to be doing in the beginning of the, of the um, video before you actually start because for all the videos you have no idea what exercises you're going to be doing until the actual exercises until the actual routine starts and for the most part I think most workouts or most follow alongs on YouTube are like that there are a few that will give you a little preview at least of the, the first circuit but they don't show you all the actual workouts for me I like to see the actual workouts because I want to know what you know what I'm gonna be doing before I do it that's just how I roll so I don't know if that's something that anybody else cares about if that's something that I should try to add on to my follow alongs or not but for me it's like when I start my own I have to like skim through to see okay that's what we're doing okay I want to do this one. Oh, I don't want to do that one so I actually have to skim through them first it doesn't take that long to do but it is a little bit of a hassle and like I said I don't know if most people care about that or they just press play and just wing it and hope for the best um, but I kind of like to know what I'm doing. So that's one thing that I would like to improve on on my own videos. So there is going to be some hiatus of me recording until the weather is more pleasant. And then the last thing I was going to talk about about my follow alongs is that I don't know if you guys can tell when I'm actually recording, but um, a lot of them, not all of them, a lot of them are very hard for me in the actual moments. Like I'll, you know, plan what exercise I'm, I'm, I'm going to do, but I don't actually do the whole thing until I'm actually recording. So I'll just push through. And it's pretty funny because when I'm actually, you know, working out with my own follow along, it'll happen to me as I'm working out. But a lot of the exercises or a lot of the follow alongs, I struggle with myself. And I've had a couple people tell me that they've done my follow alongs and that they are really, really hard. And I guess it depends on which one you choose. Uh, lately, I've been trying to do easier ones that are not so strenuous that anybody can try and, you know, succeed with. But a lot of the older ones are not even that old a lot of the ones just in general that I've done are pretty hard but that's the whole goal right the goal is to try to do as much as you can in the 15 minutes um, because like for the people who don't have enough time to do you know a whole hour long workout or even 45 minutes if you have 15 minutes you know try to get a as much as you can done in those 15 minutes if you got 30 minutes do what I do put two together if you have even longer put three together and you can mix and match maybe do an upper body a lower body a full body a core however you, you want to mix do and it. match but that's what they're there for they're there for you guys to pick and choose if you want to do one or two or three or four there they are just you know go ahead and plan them out and that's what they're there for for hope so hopefully this was beneficial but like I said if you have any other suggestions for ways that I could improve my follow alongs other than what I already mentioned that will hopefully not be too much more editing time that's going to take out of my day uh, feel free to let me know 
Um, and once again, there won't be one posted next weekend because I didn't record anything this weekend. And hopefully next weekend, somebody, at least one person tells me it's okay to record under the carport, under the carport then I'll record it. And even though the quality might not look that good, at least as a workout for next week or for the following week. Uh, so anyways, with that being said, once again, hopefully this was beneficial. And until the next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.